Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm talking about hair care products. So you will see this top all week long. I'm sorry, it will get repetitive. But make sure you watch every single one because I tackle uh, different uh, hair care product. Today I am talking about hair styling products for people with very dry hair like me. If you guys don't know, I was a blonde until two months ago. I was obliged to go brunette because my hair uh, fell off and, uh, well, burnt off and it, looks abs it looked absolutely destroyed. I'm gonna start with what I don't like, you guys. Everything uh like um finishing sprays um hairspray in general just makes my hair look super dry and like my hair does not move i got this joiku uh flip turn volumizing finishing spray um and i got the humidity blocker for my hair type it's it's just too drying for me so i don't like actually i rarely i never put hairspray on my hair or a finishing spray for that matter um just because after a while like at the end of the day my hair like my curls don't last l longer when i apply a finishing spray like and it just makes my hair look dry at the end of the day so i'm not a fan of these type of um hair styling product i also don't like this redken heat styling product it's this one right here um it's weird because it kind of leaves your hair feeling sticky uh and it's 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 a liquid so um i don't like to apply uh something liquidy when i'm gonna flat iron my hair or if i'm gonna use my curler i rather use a wet product when i'm going to blow dry my hair so uh but this one it's kind of like a hairspray but in a liquid form and uh it it was very yucky on my hair it did not look good and i paid a lot of money for this so i wanted to include it not for it's not for dry damaged hair it will look awful on you and i don't know why it's super sticky it's weird i have this other product it is from curly shill i believe it's a shine and fix spray it says um hard and shine finish so it's got again it's like it has a lot of hold it will give you a little shine to your hair and um but it it hardens it's weird because again like when i finish my curls and go with a wet product my curls are going to look awful you know what i mean i rather use aerosol this one wasn't that great it was sticky very similar to the redken one it was very hard to run my fingers through my hair after i applied this so i didn't like it i don't know again if it's the liquid form or whatnot i want to talk about heat protecting spray this one from hot tools is very good it's uh like a leave-in treatment but it's obviously um uh, it obviously protects your hair from um uh, thermal damage so uh it's very i don't know i i actually liked it a lot except that the spritzer is awful it doesn't give you a nice spray it, like shoots out very aggressively and i don't know it wasn't the spritzer wasn't my favorite but i i liked the product and i didn't even know that hot tools had like uh styling products so i really liked this one these also are my favorite um at the moment the waterless is a uh, uh, brand is really really good i actually like their dry shampoo this is their uh protective type of spray um so it has no alcohol no paraben no sulfate you really have to shake it well if you want to use it this is my second bottle and i really really like this one a lot i also like this one from mizani uh it's a heat protecting uh spray too 
I got this off of Amazon. It was very affordable and the spritzer is, spritzer is amazing. And I don't know, every time I blow dry my hair, um, my hair looks very silky and shiny. And I'm going to include this one because it is a uh, heat protecting cream. It's from Redken. It's from their extreme... Um, uh, I don't know, but the blue packaging is like specifically for like uh, bleached hair and I really like to add this even though I, I spray my hair with these guys I do like to go over with this cream so as I mentioned I like to blow dry my hair after I wash it I actually like to let, let it air dry like 90% and then I blow dry it I like these two products they're like blowout type of products this one is from Monet I believe it's called I really liked their uh products actually very very much they are amazing for extremely dry hair um, and I actually love this blowout cream I use it all the time I'm actually very low on it so I might have to get another one uh, I love also the Danu uh, I never heard of this brand before but I saw it on eBay and I thought I would try it so it's a uh, um, it's like a a uh, heat protecting spray but also uh, for when you want to blow dry your hair and I absolutely love this so I like to put a little bit of everything to be honest a little bit of uh, heat protecting spray a little bit of uh, blowout cream or a little bit of oil so I like to really saturate my hair when I am going to style it other styling products that I've been liking the Aussie Prime and proper hair primer i don't know what exactly this does but i've been spraying it like i'm almost low as you guys can see like i barely have any uh left any left uh but i just like to spray it uh on my hair too and i i don't know i've been liking how my hair is looking too so i also have this lock the look styling cream I showed their shampoo and conditioner in my shampoo and conditioner video uh, and I really like this uh, cream to um, kind of tame the frizzies out uh, you're gonna if you don't use any products when you blow dry your hair uh, it might get very frizzy not a pretty look so make sure you are using styling products uh, and this from uh, Latin Us, I believe it's a Latin brand, like a, a Latin owned uh, brand. So uh, I wanted to give it a try and actually like this line specifically from this brand. So I really like this styling cream. This is one of my favorite products for, so far. It's by the same brand um of a shampoo i showed in my shampoo and conditioner video um this is the brand is called keratin complex um and this is the keratin obsessed multi-benefit treatment spray it really gives that keratin treatment effect um it also says that it's amazing for when you want to flat iron your hair because it locks in the product so um i've been loving this product again it gives uh, my hair that silky smooth effect uh, it smells great for split ends this is a lot of a little pricey it's by monet I like, uh, like I said, Monet products for extremely damaged hair. This is the Split End Mender. I cannot stop using this cream. I, I swear, I put a little, I literally just pump a tiny bit of product because I like to add a little bit of everything. By the end, my hair is so saturated, but I love it. Like it, the more I put, I feel the more it protects my hair. And this one is amazing. I don't know why people have so much hate toward this brand. I have two of my most affordable hair oils that I really like. The L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil is very, very good if you want to save some money this one works very well i've used this for years and i really really like it i also like the one by flawless 
This is by uh, Gabrielle Union um, and this one is really good. I actually use this one a lot and um, it really refreshes my hair, makes my hair look shiny and uh, it really helps with dry hair. I absolutely love this um, hair oil so I really recommend. I also love the one from Monet. Again, it's a little pricey, but that's why I kind of like to uh, apply this on the daily. It's more affordable, and this one is like for special occasion. I don't know why, but I really, really like this one too. It is the Rejuvenique Hair Oil by Monet. Beautiful packaging. It's like that pump type of packaging. So luxurious. I love it. So yeah, that is it for my uh, favorite styling products at the moment. And also some of the ones that uh, I don't really like. So I will link everything down below. I hope I can find these. So um, make sure... Uh, you check them out and yeah that is today's video you guys so like I said the whole week I'm going to be talking about hair care products which I'm so excited so uh, thank you so much if you made it this far as always take care and I hope to see you in my next video mm -hmm.